Hey guys, quick video on uh, Walter here. This is uh, the truck I got from Primer's Best. Um, this truck actually belonged to uh, Tim Dixon. And then me and my dad, uh, we went and got a uh, big block truck and this truck from Tim. Uh, the big block truck went to uh, Ohio. This one stayed local. Primer's Best kind of liked it and he bought it. So anyways, me and him done some trading on my 88. I've been playing with this door uh, just ignore that. I've got a different idea to kind of make this match. I don't, and, and I'll just step back here for a minute. I don't think I can hurt this. Um, <laughs> worst case is just, like I've said on a few of my videos, shit on a white rag. It looks horrible. So this is the best looking patina I've ever seen on a truck. And it's just such a shame that this door got painted or whatever in the hell happened uh, some years ago that uh you know kind of ruined this whole patina on this truck but i will uh i've got another idea i will uh, do another video on that and worst case that idea don't work i will strip this door down to metal and i will take some white paint with a brush and i will dab it in here and i will make this match up i am bound and determined to fix this because this is just so pretty um i absolutely love this patina i've got new trim uh, to go all the way around it. I've got uh, a new set of wheels and tires. Of course, kind of the same things I always put on these trucks. I've got shocks, I've got the lowering kit coming, I've got shock extenders, and that's all if this truck doesn't sell before then. If it does, uh, that truck over there is gonna get all of it. But uh, anyways, I put new carpet in this truck. Uh, just a quick tip for you guys, if you've never done this, Pull your old carpet out. Of course, you're going to have to pull these uh, little plastic pieces off. Your seat belt's out. Your seat's going to have to come out. Take these seat belts, lay them over in the bed, just to kind of get them up out of your way. Grab those, these buckles, I mean. Put them on this side. Grab those buckles, put them on the other side, just so you don't get those confused if for some reason it takes you a while to do this. This is a really simple job. Uh, anyone can put carpet in one of these trucks. It's not hard. Um, this is LMC carpet, and it fits really well. Now, I've ordered carpet uh, from several different suppliers, standard interiors, um, Dave's, I believe I've ordered from, several different places. I can't remember where all, but LMC fits really well. And uh, I don't know if you can see this, but it's got this little finished piece on it from LMC. I've ordered carpets from several different places, and, uh, it, you know, it doesn't have this little edge on it. So anyway, uh, lay your new carpet in, replace all these bolts, all your bolts you took out, the seat bolts, the seat, the seat bolts and the seat belt bolts, stick them back in their holes, lay this carpet over top of them, take you a box cutter, cut you an X right over top of each bolt, and then lay your carpet over top of the bolts. And uh, pull your seat belts back out, put them back in their hole, tighten the bolts down, and then all you gotta do is uh, set your seat back in. Now you may need a little screwdriver. This is the one I used. I mean, you can use a little pick, whatever, to kind of line your seat bolts back up. Now, when you get down to these, you will need a pick. This is a little too large, but um, you know, you can kind of line these pieces back up by the rubber if you haven't changed that rubber. And uh, you know, poke you a hole through the top of it, right through the bolt hole line it up you know so that it's straight and then hold that piece down get your bolt started uh move back to this one move back to this one now these two screws are not i'm, I'm calling them bolts they're screws uh these two screws back here on the back are not in this uh either one of these panels it didn't have them so i'm gonna have to find two screws for that it's not a big deal and that will kind of take this little wrinkle out i'll pull that down and set that screw but uh these old floor mats will eventually go that's just what was in it and i threw those back in it just to keep from getting the carpet dirty but um anyways really simple job it's not hard to do do not pay somebody to do this i you know i mean if for some reason you just don't want to do it i get it but this is not hard it's really simple um now some carpets i've had 
sorry about the screwdriver pointing at everything. I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing there, but some carpets I've bought, you've had to trim it at the top, trim it at the sides, trim it at the back. Uh, these LMC carpets, I've never had to trim at the top or the sides. Now, you may have to, but I've never had to. The only place I've had to trim was right back here, and you don't actually have to trim that if you don't want to. You can just kind of let it lay up. You know, I'd probably trim maybe an inch off of this, and that's just to let it lay down. But, uh, again, relatively simple job, relatively cheap. These carpets are not that expensive, like maybe 200 bucks, 250 something like that. And it really changes um, the look of the interior of the truck. Anyways, y'all have a good one. I'll catch you on the next one.